السلام عليكم ورحمة الله الله أكبر الله أكبر الله للأنام وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له شرفنا بهذه بهذا الدين وأمرنا باتباع هديه المبين وأشهد أن نبينا محمدا عبده ورسوله بعثه ربه رحمة للعالمين صلى الله عليه وعلى آله في الأولين والآخرين وصحابته غر الميامين ومن تبعهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين أما بعد وأوسي نفسي وإياكم بتقوى الله عز وجل يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن إلا وأنتم مسلمون واحتسموا بحبل الله جميعا ولا تفرقوا واذكروا نعمة الله عليكم إذ كنتم أعداء فألف بين قلوبكم وأصبحتم بنعمته إخوانا وعن ابن عباس رضي الله عنهما قال سئل النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم أي الأديان أحب إلى الله عز وجل قال العنفية سمحة رواه إمام أحمد بسند حسن My beloved brothers and sisters, I thank Allah Almighty who guide us to this beautiful deen called Al-Islam. I bear witness Allah Jalla wa Ala is the only one who deserves to be worshipped. La Sharika. Allah also tell us or tell all mankind to follow the herd you call Al-Islam. 
In that case, he sent Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam as a final messenger to all mankind. In suhum wa jinnahum sallallahu alaihi wasallam. After that, I will encourage you and myself to fear Allah azza wa jalla. Islam is the deen of Allah himself. It's the deen of the angels. It's the deen of Adam alayhi salatu wa salam. Deen of Adam wal malaikatu qablahu. The angel before Adam also, Islam is the deen. We read in the Quran, Allah says, inna deena inna Allahi al-Islam. Deen only accepted in front of Allah is Al-Islam Ul Sirat Al Mustaqim. Today Khutbah inshaAllah we will talk about how soft is the deen of Islam and how beautiful it is Islam. Ibn Abbas quote a hadith. Rawahu Imam Ahmad. Musnad Ahmad bi Sanadin Hassan. And he said they asked the Prophet, What is the best religion in front of Allah? And the Prophet says, It is Al Hanafiya in Samha. Hanafiya is a deen that do not have shirk. It is the deen of Ibrahim. It is no shirk in it. You will never worship Allah and worship someone or something inside. You recognize Allah as the Lord of the universe, and we all recognize that, and also we worship Him alone. If you ask any human being, if he have a brain, who created the heaven and the earth, he will tell you, God, or Allah. Who created the sea, he will tell you, Allah, or God. Who created the animal? You say Allah or oh God. Then why you don't worship him? Some of them they worship Allah. They know he's, in fact Allah exists and they worship him. But by worshiping him, they act. They don't worship Allah alone. They worship Allah and something. Maybe it's the cross. Maybe it's Jesus himself. Maybe is democracy, maybe, maybe a lot of men may decide they worship Allah, but they add something to it. But Prophet says the best adiyah in front of Allah is Al Hanafi. The only deen Allah accepts is Al Hanafi. Even sometimes you don't see any prophet come to you, but your mind will tell you Allah exists and He only deserves to be worshipped. Those who do anthropology, they discover, they say, American, African religion was so fear until white men come to them. Because you ask them, who feed you with them, they say Allah. Who created this, the, the African mind? Before Europeans, they all fear. Even before Islam come to them, they mind they know Allah exists and He deserves to be worshipped. But when other culture come to them and the religion, the pure religion, start to change, the Prophet teaches us the best deen in front of Allah, Ayyul Adiyyad Ahabu Illallah, Al Hanafiyyat is Sama. Some have the tawhid. You know who is Allah, and you worship Him alone. Have fear monotheism. Who is Allah? The Christian come and ask Prophet to describe them. Who is Allah? He tell them, "Qul hu Allah ahad, Allah al-Samad, lam yalid, wa lam yulad." Now the other part is a samba, is a soft deen. It's no fight inside. It's no dispute. It's not arguing. It's no killing. But it's just a soft inside. 
this dream called al uh, al-Islam. Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam used to send the clever person to make a doubt to other country who don't understand what is Islam. During his lifetime, in Yemen, very clever Arab people. The historian tells us Yemeni people are the people who speak the Arabic first a long time ago, not now. The clear Arab, you will find it in Yemen. That's where Abu Huraira comes from. Those. But Prophet sent two companions over there. Abu Musa al-Ashari, Abu Musa al-Ashari, and Mu'az. Mu'az, among the Sahaba, you might say he's the most knowledgeable one among them. Or he know a lot. He memorized the book of Allah. Even Abu Musa memorized the book of Allah, like Abu Huraira. Aisha, Afsa, Abu Bakr, Umar, Usman, Ali, all of them say they memorize the book of Allah. But these two young boys, Prophet, send them to Yemen because Yemen have clever persons and also Jewish people. The Jewish people also are so clever. No matter what, you have to accept it and it's a fact. Who is Albert Einstein? He's a Jewish. They discover a lot, and they know a lot. Who control Wall Street, the money? It's Jewish. You have to accept it, don't they? That's why the Fukuhah just says, when Allah sent Ibrahim, he gave him two sons, more than two. But in we know two. Ibrahim have two sons, one called Ismail, and another one called Ishaq. In Ishaq, they say Halid is a soft one. In Ishaq, no, in Ismail, Halid. But in Ishaq, they say Halid, knowledge. That's why they tell the Jewish, they got the knowledge from their father. Who is the father? Israel. Who is Israel? Young who? Where young who get it to his father? They got the knowledge. And they still have it, and they conquer the world. He's a fact. But Prophet chose two people who understand human being and good memory. But look what he tells them. When you go over there in Yemen, meeting the Jewish and the Arabs over there, calling them to Deen and Islam, Yasira wa la First of all, make it Islam soft to them, but don't make Islam very hard to them. Make them understand this Deen is very easy. That's why someone who don't know nothing about the Masai of Islam, don't come to talk to him, talk to him that he will run away. You do this, you're going to hell. You make him run away. Make him appreciate what is Islam. Make him appreciate the deed and the good deeds. When you obey your parents, you will get this reward. When you do this to your wife, you will get this reward. Until these people, they say, oh, this is a good religion. But when you come to do this, you go into hell. It is hell, Jahannam, hell, Jahim. You might make them go away. But be soft to them and talk to them nicely and gently until they accept it. Bashira, wala tu asira. Ay, wala tunfira. So don't make them run away. Watata wa'a, wala taftalifa. You have to follow one another, but not divide to one another. Malasa. Now look at the Muslim world. How divided we are is a fact also. You can come and in this mosque or other mosque, you might have almost 20 types of Muslims. The way they believe is different. The way they worship is different. And all of them, they call themselves Muslims. And not supposed to be like that. Having to one thing. For example, if you come in any organization, any mosque, you come there doing something, and that's not against the sunnah. Don't come to jump on and force on and divide them. Now, 
ولا تختلفا we have to have one leader and we have one leader we have to follow that leader if the leader tell us to obey Allah and his messenger if he give us the opposite we say no la sama la ta that's why prophet says in deen kul kul is al islam inna ma ju'ila al imam to follow him. When he read until he come to Walbali, say Amin. In another riwayah, when he read and say Amin, also say Amin. When he say Allahu Akbar, you say Allahu Akbar. Don't say Allahu Akbar before him, because that's jeopardize the deen. That's not show us the beauty of Islam. That's one leader, one imam, one president, one king, whatever, and we follow him. صلى الله عليه وسلم يحص على سماء في المعاملة. When you dealing with people, you try to be soft and nice. قال صلى الله عليه وسلم رحم الله رجل سماء إذا باع أو إذا استرى أو إذا اقتدى. May Allah have mercy to a man when he sells or he buy, he will be make it nice. He don't cheat. Example I can give, someone, someone is coming to you, sell a phone to you, and you know he's his phone. His phone, he get it for $1,000, but he's in need, and he come to you, you, you know that is not fair to pay him $75, but you get the phone from him for $75. Our ladies, you sell the phone to another person for $700. That's not good business. Or you know something, that's if you have it. You can make profit and harm other people. You get it for one cent, but you can multiply it for $300 and jump. It is not good. What Islam says, when you buy, you act accordingly according to the market price. And respect people who come to you. When you sell also, you have to know the market, how it's going on. Rahim Allah, Rajulan Samha, Iza Ba'a, Wa Iza Stara, Wa Iza Ktada. Even you judge, you have to judge according to the to the truth. Qala Nawawi Rahimahullah, Kana Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Rajulan Sahlan, in Hadith Jabir Radiyallahu Anhu. Prophet is an easy person when he's come to do business. That's why Allah tells him in this holy book, وَإِنَّكَ لَعَلَىٰ قُلُقٍ عَذِيمٍ All noble characters, you Muhammad, you have. قَزْوَةُ بَدْرَ When the Muslims defeat the Kafir, they have prisons of war, what Prophet tells them. Why you not make it easy to them? Freedom is much easier. Freedom. Give them peace and let them go. It's up to you. There are close family and close member. Why not let them free? And Prophet let them go free, some of them. Those who know how to read and write, you tell them, if you teach our kids the Ansari how to read and write, then you will be free also. Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam one day and another battle called Zad Riqa when he come underneath a tree taking a rest with his companions and fall asleep Fajaa arajulun minal mushrikeen one man from the kafir come and take his sail and Prophet was sleeping and he wake him up and he tell him oh man who will save you today from the state? Prophet raised his finger and said, Allah. God saved me. The man feeling shake in his body and the shape of fall. And Prophet took it. And he told him, You. Now who will save you from me or from the state? That man looked at him and he told him, Only you can save me. Because you have the power to kill me or the power to let me go. Prophet tells me, 
Atashad an la ilaha illallah. Do you accept Allah is the only one who deserves to be worshipped? That means say no. If I was recognized that Allah is the only one who is supposed to be worshipped and you are his messengers, I'm not coming to fight you. I don't believe in you and I don't believe in your Allah. But I will guarantee you one thing. If you let me alive and let me go, I will never fight you again in my life. And whoever fights you, I will never support him. Prophet, let him go. They say a week later, the man come with his village, and all of them, they embrace Islam. And he tell the Prophet, at the beginning, when he was showing me Islam, if I accept, people might think it is death, force me to accept it. But I want to take to Islam according to my will. And he says, Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wa ashhadu anna Muhammad rasulullah. Tufayl ibn Hamir al Dawsi, radiallahu anhu. The beginning of Islam, the first years of Islam, uh, he came from his hometown, Yemen, and come to Mecca. But during this time, he was a kafir. People tell him, don't listen to that man. He might corrupt your mind. He put some pattern inside the ear and don't want to hear nothing about that man or this man in Makkah called Muhammad. While he do his tawaf around the Kaaba, he says, I am a grown man. Why do this? I'm not remove this in my ear. He's just a man. Whatever he says is true. True is true. I accept. And I am a grown man, we can argue each other. When we remove it, they say Ali approached him until they put him in front of our Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam used to make a khutbah, like khutbah al Hajj, in Alhamdulillah, Nahmaduhu wa Nasta'ini. When he hears this first word, he say, Wallah, I never hear this in my life. He was so good and so pure. In a few minutes, he accepted Islam. When he accepted Islam, he said, Ya Rasulullah, if you want, no food will come from Yemen now to Makkah, to Daus, to here. Prophet said, no. That's not good for the markets. No. Let the people from Daus to bring their merchandise in Makkah. And he said, Ya Rasulullah, ask Allah to give me a sign. And Prophet asked God to give him a sign. As soon he asked Allah to give him a sign, a big noon come to the forehead, a big light come in his forehead. And he's afraid now to himself. He said, Ya Rasulullah, this is scary. If I'm coming to people and they see the light, they might run away. And you ask Allah to move it, or he asks himself, ask Allah to move it, and the light now come in his shoulder. The light move and come to his right shoulder. And he go back to Dawes. When he come over there, first thing he do, he go to his father. And tell him, Father, you know who I am? He say, yes, you are my son, to face He say, from today, no tie between you and me. He say, why? He says, because, Father, you are a Catholic and I am a Muslim. No link between you and me. The father say, if it is the case, I am a Muslim. One. He go to the wife and tell him, darling, you are a Catholic and I am a Muslim. No link between you and me because I am a Muslim. The wife accepted Islam also. Because the family members close, all of them automatically they accept Islam. Be yet to find Ibn Amr. What do you think what you can do for your own wife, father, mother, you can do to other people? No way. Now he says it is time to go make a da'wah. He come outside. First group of people he met and try to give da'wah, they beat him to death. As soon as he starts talking about Allah, Islam, they beat him to death. And he ran away back to Makkah and met Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He tell Ya Rasul Allah, look what my own people do to me. I call them to Allah and they beat me. Ask Allah to destroy them. Ask Allah to destroy them. 
Prophet raised his two hands and said, Allahumma ahdi dawsan. Allahumma ahdi dawsan. Allahumma ahdi dawsan wa aati him bihim. Allahumma ahdi dawsan wa aati him bihim. Oh Allah, please guide the people from Daws, the people from Yemen, and bring them to me. Guide them in Islam and bring them to me. Three times. And he said to Faith, go back to your own people. Try to be soft and nice and gentle and call them in Islam and be patient. To fail the return. The Fuqaha says, in a period of less than eight years, a lot of people accept Islam. Even some of them, they say, Abu Huraira might be among them. During the year eight of the Hijrah, Prophet migrated to Medina after eight years. A lot of people from Yemen come now. They migrate now from them, coming from Yemen and come to Medina for one hour. During the same year, also Ja'far ibn Abi Talib and other come from Ethiopia, Africa and come to Medina. Prophet was so happy and tell the Muslim, and he tell them, I don't know what happiness is greater. The people come from Yemen and I see them for the first time or the people who come from Africa now to me because they were in uh, uh, Ethiopia. Yes, a lot of them also, they come with the companions and become Muslims. Brothers and sisters, your deen called Deen al-Islam is a soft religion. Be a man enough. Control your wife and your kids as a father. You, the father, has to be so soft to teach your kids. You, the mother, also, you have to be too soft to teach your kids. If you don't be soft and be nice, you make them run away, and the other system will take them, and you will lose your father, your mother, lose your kids, or lose everything. This deen called Islam is a sampa. Khairul Adiyan, Ahabu illallah, is a sama al anafiyatu sama. How soft is Islam? Someone sneezes next to you, he says, Yahdi umullah wa yuslih ba'dahu. To ask Allah to guide him. It's the same thing. Kana sallallahu alayhi wa sallam anas ahsana nasu kuluqa. Character. He is Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Wa asa'ahum sadra. And the sahaba were like that. They just, they accept everything coming to them. They know they accept it. They don't argue with each other. So generous. So generous. Money is not the issue. The issue is you and what you're having inside. Tayyibul Kalam. The companion and Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, when they talk, they tell you, Usulul Al-Aham. Family, about family members, they know how to handle the issues. Haris in Allah Salam. Peace, they call Islam. Everywhere, even giving food in the community. Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam don't like even when he enter and people stand up for him. When he come to a group, he will sit down for the last line. He never show up. He don't attack people in public now. Usually he will attack them by name, by not their name, by, by, by their actions. Usually he used to say, Ma baal akwa min yafhalu na kaza. وكذا أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم لقد جاءكم رسول من أنفسكم عزيز عليه ما عنتم حريص عليكم بالمؤمنين رؤوف رحيم أستغفر الله أستغفر الله وتوبة للمستغفرين الحمد لله على إحسانه والشكر له على توفيقه وامتنانه أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وأشهد أن محمدا رسول الله وفي صحيح البخاري صحيح البخاري من حديث أبي هريرة رضي الله عنه وأرضاه أن النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم قال إن الدين يسهل ولم يشاد الدين أحد إلى غلبه 
فشددوا وقاربوا وأبشروا In Sahih al-Bukhari, the Prophet says, the deen of Islam is very easy. It's a deen of, they will tell you even to fast, when you travel, you can't cut it. In the middle of the night, when you fall asleep, he tell you go to sleep until the sleep is complete in your body, and you wake up and pray again. It's a deen of, if you have even one dollar, the deen tell you give it to your family. And you have another one dollar, he tell you give it again to your family. You have the third dollar, he tell again give it to your family to make your family happy. And the fourth one, he say you can give it now to someone else. It is a deen that everything is easy. He mixes his culture. Everywhere he learns your culture. Madama in your culture is not something haram on it. He will tell you keep your culture. It is a part of it. Diversify, that's what you call deen and Islam. No one come and make heart to the deen until the deen will be overpowered. Like you are not able to fast, don't force, but fast day by day. That's why Ibn Omar, look, he come one day and Prophet says about how beautiful it is to fast and how, how the reward you will get. And he said, Ya Rasulullah, I want to fast. The Prophet tell him, okay, take three days of the month. I am a be. He said, I can do more. I can do more. Three days. He tells him, take your three days and add Monday and Thursday. He said, I, I can't do more. He's a young, I can't do more to worship Allah. He tell him, now choose the first thing of Dawood. He used to fast one day and break it for the following days. He said, I can do more. He tell you, no one can do better than Dawood, alayhi salatu wasalam. Take it, and he take it. When he take this type of fasting, when he get old, and remember, it's a prophet who tell him to do this, and prophet passed away, and he says, I wish, I will take the advice of Rasul sallallahu alayhi wasalam. I advise him long time ago to make it easy. Take it easy. Islam is not a thing that you, you will come and be so heavy, no. Those you see at the beginning, they take their Islam very heavy. All of them quick. Those who are seeing, take their Islam very heavy. Which is the jalbab they are having, whatever they the fear, and reading Quran very Very, those who the majority of them quick. But those, Ibn Abbas tell, a rabbi is the one who teach people that now it's slow by slow. They come, you give them one ayah, one hadith, one ayah, one hadith, and they grow through that until 75 years or 80 years. Those, they still have it. It is not thing you will have in one shot, no. The knowledge you cannot have it in one time, no. It's a rabbi, one by one. One of you shall be Prophet tell us to want us to take it easy and sometimes have your pro little provision with the deen. Hadith Abu Hurairah radiallahu anhu wa arda. And he wants us to be a person like this. Kullu yawmu tatlu fihi shamsu ta'lu bainan isnaini sadaqah. Every day you see the sun and you make two persons come together that the sadaqah. Every day that you wake up the days, and you know two Muslims they fight, husband and wife they fight, they go into court, but you come and fix the issues. Prophet says you have a reward. Sada. In another occasion, he says, even is better than doing ihtikab in Masjid Nabal. Going to Makkah, doing Umrah, you make it two persons come together, you will have more reward. Believe me. And how good is going to Umrah? But you know, in my community, a husband and a wife, they're fighting. You fix it, the reward you have is more. You help someone in his dhabba. You translate it now, someone whose car is break. He needs help. You come and you fix it with the body. It's a sadha. One man told us, they have his car break down in the highway. When he needs help, 
a white man come and help him and fix the car. And he tells him, what I have to give you, that man tells him, you don't have to pay me nothing. This is his here in America. You don't have to pay me nothing. But anytime you see someone, his car breaks down on the road, help him. Non-Muslim telling an African Muslim to do a hadith of Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. You help him someone fix his car, he's a sadaqah. Someone who left something heavy, you help him. Turfamu alayha mata'ahu sadaqah. Kalimatu tayyibah, good word. You meet someone, you just you don't have nothing. You do the, the same thing like the sadaqah of the people. Sometimes if they don't have nothing, they give you good word and you go. That's a sadaqah. Well, kalimatu tayyibah, sadaqah. Wa kullu kutwati intamsiha ila salatu sadaqah. Your house is far away, you go into the, toward the masjid, is a sadaqah. Something that you found on the streets can be harmful to people. You remove it, is a sadaqah. That is the sama'ah of deen and Islam. Our beloved Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa When Allah gave him the power, and he is the number one of the world. And the 10th of the Hijrah, Around the Jazeera in Arabia, Muhammad is the powerful person. No matter who ever hear his name, you know I hear the name of a powerful person. The enemy who fight with him for 23 years, he have a power and he take the siege of Makkah. When he come Makkah, all the Quraysh they run away, and he tell them, Ya Makkah Quraysh, ma tarawna an nifaqilun fiqum. What do you think I will do to you today? They tell him, we know you only do good to us. Akhun Karim, you are a generous brother. Wa ibn Akhun Karim. You come from also a generous family. And Prophet closed his eye and he cried, Wallah, Qal izhabu fa antum tulaqa. Go away. Go away. You are free. And you all of you have your freedom. And that moment, Bilal jumped on the Kaaba and give that powerful adhan that people hear. Rabbana atina fi dunya hasan, wa fil akhirati hasan, wa qina adhaba naam. Rabbana la tizhi khulubana, bahda izhadaykana, wa hab lana min ladunka rahmatan innaka anta al-wuha. Allahumma ahsim lana min khashyatika ma tahudu bihi baynana wa bayna ma'asiyatika. Wa min ta'atika ma tuballighuna bihi jannata. ومن اليقين ما تهون به علينا مسائل الدنيا ومتحنا اللهم بقواتنا وأبصارنا أبدا ما أحييتنا واجهله وارسا منا ولا تجعل مصيبتنا في ديننا اللهم لا تجعل مصيبتنا في ديننا اللهم لا تجعل مصيبتنا في ديننا ولا تجعل الدنيا أكبر همنا ولا مبلغ علمنا ولا إلى النار مسيرنا ولا إلى النار مسيرنا ولا إلى النار مسيرنا واجهل الجنة هي دارنا وخرارنا بفضلك ورحمتك يا أخم الرحيم يا أخي العالمين اللهم إنا نعوذ بك من جهل البلاء ودرك الشقاء وسوء القداء وشمادة الأهداء اللهم آتي نفوسنا تحواها أنت خير من زكاها أنت وليها ومولاها اللهم لا تدع لنا ذنبا إلى غفرك ولا هما إلى فرجته ولا كربا إلى نفسك ولا دينا إلى خديته ولا هاجة من خوائج الدنيا هي لك ردا ولنا فيها صلاة إلى أهمتها ويسرتها بفضلك ورحمتك يا أرحم الرحيمين يا رب العالمين اللهم اغفر جميع أمة محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم اللهم اغفر جميع أمة محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم اللهم اغفر جميع أمة محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم اللهم أغن فقيرهم وحد دارهم وشبابهم ونساءهم برحمة يا أرحم الرحيمين يا رب الحالمين اللهم صل على محمد في الملأ الأعلى وقوم إلى السلام الله أكبر الله أكبر أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن محمد رسول الله هيا على الصلاة هيا على الفلا قد كامت صلاة قد كامت صلاة الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله استقيموا واعتدلوا وتراسوا
الله أكبر الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم ملك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الفراط المستقيم سراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين سبح اسم ربك لعل الذي خلق فسوى والذي قدر فهدى والذي أخرج المرح فجعله غساء نحو سنقربك فلا تنسى إلا ما شاء الله إنه يعلم الجهر وما يخفي ونيسرك ليسر فذكر إن نفعت ذكري سيذكر من يخشى ويتجنبها الأشق الذي يصل نار الكبر ثم لا يموت فيها ولا يهي قد أفلها من تزكى وذكر اسم ربه فسلى بل توسرون الحياة الدنيا والآخرة خير وأبقى إن هذا لفي سوف الأولى سوف إبراهيم وموسى الله أكبر سمع الله لمن حمد الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم ملك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الفراط المستقيم سراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين هلا تيك هجيس الغاشية وجوه يومئذ قاشعة عاملة ناسبة تسلى نارا حامية تسلى من عين آلية ليس لهم تعام إلى من بريع لا يسمن ولا يغني من جوه وجوه يومئذ ناعمة لسعيها راتب في جنة عالية لا تسمع فيها لاغية فيها عين جارية فيها سرر مرفوعة وأكواب موجوعة ونمارق مسفوفة وذرابي مبسوسة أفلا ينظرون إلى الإبل كيف قلقت وإلى السماء كيف رفعت وإلى الجبال كيف نسبت وإلى الأرض كيف سجعت فذكر إنما أنت مذكر لست عليهم بمسيطر إلا من تولى وكفر فيعذب الله عذاب الأكبر إن إلينا أيامهم ثم إن علينا حسابهم الله أكبر سمع الله حمدا الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر
السلام عليكم ورحمة الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله We are in the 29th, and really the masjid need to pay the rent. Bismillah, let's try to pay the masjid rent if it's possible. Bismillah, Bismillah. Whoever give, Allah will replace it. Inshallah, Bismillah. Give some of your money to Allah, Allah will give it to you back. Let's just pay the rent for the masjid. Today is the 29th. Bismillah.